So just wanted to do a little quick run through. Uh, my fiance is a keyboard player and a synth player, and um, this is her reverb pedal. This thing is wild. Um, it's apparently based on a Lexicon Studio Reverb, which is just some sort of old... You, you've maybe seen them in studios, those things that look like calculators, and then they connect out to something else. This is based off of that, but um, I just went ahead and made like nine presets real quick, um, just to kind of see how the pedal sounds, you know? I don't know much about how it works. Apparently you can get delay and modulation out of it, but um, I just thought it would be fun to kind of show you some of the sounds I got and run through them. And um, I'm playing a SG. Um, this is a Gibson Faded SG. You can get it for like 700 bucks online. Um, and I just put a Bigsby on there, which uh, is really, really fun. Like all my guitars right now, the strings are incredibly old. So that plus Bigsby might equal a, a wonky tuning, but that's fine. Um, look at the wood on this thing, man. It's gorgeous. Okay. So, um, yeah, here's just like what the SG sounds like. <laughs> We are playing through a Supro 1650 RT. It's a big 2x12 Supro. Here's the pedal, I think. So right off the bat here, we get like kind of a nice, really serviceable, turn the volume up on my amp, really serviceable uh, room, reverb, Preset number two. Much longer trails. So that was kind of cool. You get some trails that doesn't get in the way. Uh, I'm not saying this is a slight against this pedal because I don't understand this pedal enough to get the types of tones I'd probably want out of it. I'm not huge on the reverb tone. I think what's kind of messing me up is there's bass, mids, and treble. Um, I don't really know if that's EQing the reverb or if it's EQing the guitar. It says something here. Reverb time. Okay, so I think the bass in the mid, um, this is how long those frequencies last. And then this must just be like the EQ for the reverb. You know what? Maybe I just answered my own damn question. Again, apologies. Uh, if you watched any of my videos from yesterday, you'll know that I'm 
recovering from eye surgery. So, uh, font is not my friend right now. Here's the next preset. This has all been on the bridge pickup. Let's go to the middle. a delay repeats thing going on there. You hear that? Here's number three. This one's kind of cool. It reminds me of the 80s reverb on the uh, Strymon Flint. That's my favorite reverb of all time. I'm pretty stingy when it comes to reverbs. I like the Strymon Flint. I like the Caroline Meteor. That's pretty much it. Although those old vintage um, Holy Grails are pretty good too. But I like this one a lot, this, this sound a lot. Five. There's only nine of these, by the way. I think there's three banks of nine. So one thing I was able to find out is, um, I think this is room this is plate, and this is hall. So you can kind of test out how each sound is. Like here is the room version of the sound. Here's the plate version. And here's the hall version of the sound. So kind of cool. Here's number, uh, that looks like nine to me. What is that probably? Six, it's probably six. <laughs> this one was kind of funny.
Okay, I need to shed that, but you get the idea. It's kind of like a weird um, muted. That was a neck pickup, by the way. Weird, kind of like a little muted, full reverb sound. And then one of these is modulation, too, apparently. Um, let's see if I can hear it. Okay, yeah, I guess right. <laughs> I don't really like modulated reverb, but it's there. about this is there's all these um sort of like unnatural reverb sounds you can get um weird things like feeling like you're hearing a band through a wall yeah it's pretty cool so you can hear my like opinion on this pedal changing as i play through it <laughs> This one's pretty. And here's the last preset. Average folk rock. then we're back to the beginning so yeah I don't know it seems like a cool pedal I've seen a lot of friends use it uh, in the studio as opposed to live although I understand the utility of this live 
I think it just depends on how you play live. Like, if you're traveling a bunch, this would scare the shit out of me because these faders would break off. And I guess, you know, I have a road case, so I guess you could argue it could be safe. But still, TSA will... I regularly have opened up my pedal board and TSA has, like, ripped out the, the Strymon power supply and stuff is flying everywhere. But um, I think it's really... Um, it's, it's cool. It's been fun to explore. I think it's just not really the way I think about reverb. Um, and so I appreciate what they are doing here from a design perspective and playing through it. I'm just kind of at a point in my playing where I really only want to use stuff that doesn't get in the way that I don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about. Occasionally, I'll run into something where I'm like, I want to spend time thinking about this. I've had that experience with the LBX, but um, yeah. What a weird pedal, huh?